morning. This weekend is the National Pole and Aerial Sports Championship, South African Championship. And of course, I have to vlog the whole thing. I am just busy uh, packing and getting ready for day one of competition. It's Cody in the background. I am not competing today. I only compete pretty late tomorrow um, evening, around like 6.30ish. But my mom is competing today. The whole pole playground team is competing today. I have one student who I've coached who's competing in pole today. Today is the pole day. So I'm just busy packing all my stuff and getting everything ready. I'm going to teach some classes at Elevate this morning and then I'm going to go through to the venue. I've just packed my lunch box with all my snacks for the day because it's going to be a long day. We're going to be there. I'm going to be there. I'm leaving now, like in the next half an hour leaving here around 8 a.m. Teaching classes, going straight to the venue, and then we'll probably only get home around 9 p.m., 10 p.m. Um, but this is what I've got. I got a little chicken, spiced chicken breast. Those are my favorite from Woolies. I've got some ostrich biltong, some tuna. So I've got lots of protein options. I've got some cherry tomatoes and some sliced um, cucumber. I also have a nachi, um, some sesame seeds. I We went to spa yesterday. I just happened to see these and I was like, that would be a great idea for snacks. So I've got some sesame seeds and then I've got a juice and I've got a mango, yeah, you know, just mango fruit blend. Um, and that's all my snacks for today. I've got pretty much exactly the same uh, for tomorrow. So I bought two of all of these. I've got extra um, tomato and cucumber and I've got some more like nachis and sesame seeds and stuff. So I can pack the exact same for tomorrow. And then I've also got some sweets for tomorrow for after I am finished competing. But that is the snack situation. I've also got my whole competition bag packed here. And then I've got my hair and makeup and costume stuff here. So this is everything that I need. I'm not going to actually open this. But I've got my makeup bag, my hair stuff, and my whole costume in there. I'm not going to take this with today, but I wanted to have it packed already just so that I don't have to stress because it's going to be a very busy weekend. And then in here, I've got just all my other, like, general stuff so like foam rollers i've got a my tracksuit i've got well, my second tracksuit i've actually got two tracksuits this year so because i am now a studio owner and we have elevate fitness i've got my own elevate fitness tracksuit so this is one of the tracksuits that i will be wearing this is one that i'm going to be wearing when i'm coaching because all my goals that i'm coaching are um I've signed as a coach under Elevate Fitness, but then when I'm competing, I'm gonna be wearing my pole playground tracksuit, which I also wore last year because Daniela is my coach and she wears her pole play playground tracksuit. And you have to wear the same tracksuit as your coach. So I'm gonna be swapping between the two tracksuits over the weekend. But yeah, anyway, my competition bag is all packed. So I've got my spare tracksuit in there. I've got uh, foam rollers, I've got therabands, I've got a spare sewing kit. I've got like pretty much everything that I could possibly need for the competition weekend in there and I'm gonna take that bag with me today and tomorrow. So now all I need to do is get ready. I'm gonna put on my tracksuit. I'm gonna go teach my classes and then I will see you at the venue. We are here at the competition. It's a new venue this year. They haven't used this uh, venue. It's the Danny Van Sale Recreation Hall and it's actually really nice. It's a lot bigger than last year. It feels a lot like, more open and fresh. And I'm about to go to the backstage area to check on Phoebe who's competing today. She's busy doing makeup, warming up and getting in the zone. So I just need to check on her, make sure she's all good and doesn't need anything from me. And I've been helping out um, at the front desk over there with checking people in and doing on the day ticket sales because I'm helping uh, the organizers out a little bit. But yeah, this is kind of like the area in between where the stage is over there. So we go through that door to the stage and then over here is the door that goes through to backstage. Opening ceremony is about to start. So I am heading in to watch the opening ceremony and then Phoebe is up like second in the competition. So I'm pole team for her.
plan to watch. Run back down, sit backstage with Hawthorne, and I'm running back to the stage to watch Skylar from Pole Playground. She's about to go on. My day consisted mostly of running backwards and forwards between the front of the stage and the back of the stage because um, I couldn't take the shortcut through that the um, organizers and like official uh, people could take because I'm not that special. So I had to run all the way the whole way around to backstage to clean poles to then come all the way back to the front of the stage to watch people. So it was a lot of running backwards and forwards and yeah, uh, a very, very long day, but it's all good. We are ready for tomorrow. We're back at the competition venue. I'm not sure how much I managed to vlog of today. I got a few bits and pieces here and there. Um, but uh, the pole playground team did absolutely phenomenally. Um, it was mostly a pole playground day today. Um, pretty, everyone got medals from the pole playground team. Most of them got gold medals. Uh, Daniela, my coach, won both of her divisions. Um, and everyone just did like really, really well. Amazing. My mom did super well. She got an amazing score for her sports routine. She got a really good score for her art routine and came third place in her artistic division. So all in all, very good day. My student that I coached, Phoebe, she came first in both sports and artistic. Um, she had an amazing score for sports. I'm super, super proud of her. Um, but yeah, it was an incredible, incredible day. Massive success just very long and very exhausting um i feel like i'm also like rambling now and just like jumping from place to place because my brain is so tired um so i am going to be off to bed now to wake up bright and early tomorrow morning i need to be there between eight and nine for athlete registration and then my rehearsal is only i think it's like gonna be just before 11 so but i'm taking um some stuff to the venue uh, to help out with the organizers. So I need to make sure that I get everything there also nice and early and I'm on time for the athlete rehearsal. But I think I might try and just like chill out in between and have a little bit of a race because I think after that, the day is gonna be super busy. It's day two of a comp. We are gonna head off to the competition venue now. We're going past our studio to get some stuff quickly and then we'll be on the highway and on the way to the recreation hall where the competition is being held. Um, I'm coaching three girls today. I'm coaching Nikita, Giselle and Caitlin. Uh, I'm very excited for them. Um, it's like their routines are looking so good. They've put in so much hard work and practice and I am a proud, proud coach, uh, no matter what happens today, but obviously I hope that they do well and that they get to perform 
the very best runs of these routines um because they've worked so hard for it so i'm very very excited for that <clears throat> oh my gosh i'm losing my voice most of them well, all of them are doing sports so they'll be in the afternoon but caitlin is also doing artistic so she'll be in the evening with me when i perform because i'm performing flying pole today so um I'll just have to see about managing that because I'll need to be getting in the zone for competing and then also helping her. But I've got my mom and Daniela with me and they're also going to be able to step in and assist if Caitlin or I need anything while we're doing our artistic prep and competing for that. And luckily for artistic, I don't need to sit with her at the kiss and cry. There's no kiss and cry. So I'll have plenty of time to do that for all my sports babies and then Caitlin will, yeah, just do her artistic. Behind the scenes footage, backstage. Yay! The kid's about to do her test time. She's just told me that she's made a change to her routine the week before the competition. But it's fine because I trust her. She's a pro. She's got this. Keith and Giselle getting ready. About to go on stage. We're home from comp. I got a gold medal. I was the only one in my division, to be fair, so kind of expected that I was going to get the gold. But I got a really, really good score. I got 65.3 um, in total, which is a really, really good score. And now I'm like conflicted over whether I should go to Worlds with this routine or not because I've technically qualified. And I. I don't know. I need to decide if I'm if I'm going to do that. But my score is is good enough to compete at Worlds, so I'll have to see if I take it there. The day went super super well. I'm so proud of my girls. They did so well. Uh, Nikita and Giselle won their doubles. Um, Nikita won her solo um, sports. Caitlin did amazing. Caitlin and Giselle did amazing in their um, sports solos they did so 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 good but that was a tough division um but like they both did phenomenal routines and then Caitlin did amazing in her artistic she was the only one in her division as well but she got like a really really good score um she was really happy with it and everyone loved her routine like people were coming up to me afterwards saying that they were like really really liked it so that's good I'm happy I need to eat something now and then go to sleep because I'm exhausted it's been a very 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 long weekend but yeah, I'm not sure how much I filmed. It was really rushed at the end um, because a lot of people dropped out of the comp for like injuries and sickness and stuff like that. So I didn't realize like how quickly I was going to be up. So I was like taking my time with doing my makeup. It was fine. And then I got told, okay, it's like three people and then you're on. And I hadn't even started warming up. I was still putting my costume on. So that was a bit of a stress, but we made it work. It was fine. It was a good comp. It was a good weekend. Yeah. Thanks for watching the vlog. Bye.